Micro pipettes are used to measure small volumes, usually volumes smaller than a milliliter. There are different types of micro pipettes for measuring different ranges in volume. Each pipette is marked to indicate what range of volumes the pipette is used to measure. This is a P1000. It is used to measure volumes from 100 microliters to 1000 microliters. This is a P20. It is used to measure volumes from 2 microliters to 20 microliters. This window on the pipette shows the volume of fluid that the pipette is set to take up. For this P1000, the upper digit in red represents the thousands place. The next digit down represents the hundreds place. The digit on the bottom represents the tens place. This micro pipette is set to take up 950 microliters. For this P20, the top digit represents the tens place. The next digit down represents the ones place. The digit on the bottom in red represents tenths. This micro pipette is set to take up 12.5 microliters. We will use the P20 micro pipette to demonstrate how to use a micro pipette. However, the principles learned with respect to this pipette generally apply to other types as well. Different micro pipettes have different but similar mechanisms for setting the volume they will take up. To set the volume on this P20, gently pull up and turn the black wheel as shown here. This pipette has now been set to 20 microliters. Once you have finished adjusting the pipette volume, push the black wheel back into its original position. Never adjust the pipette volume outside of the volume range it is designed to measure. This damages the micro pipette. In order to take up the indicated volume of fluid using the micro pipette, you must first place a disposable plastic pipette tip onto the end of the pipette. Different types of tips are used with different micro pipettes. This clear tip is used with this P20. To take liquid up into the pipette, first place the tip on the micro pipette as shown here. Make sure the tip is firmly seated on the end of the micro pipette. Fluid is taken up into and expelled from the pipette tip by using the micro pipette plunger. The pipette plunger is operated by pushing down on the button on the top of the plunger. The plunger has two stops. To aspirate fluid up into the pipette tip, push the button down to the first stop. Continue to hold down the button as you place the pipette tip into the fluid that you want to draw up into the pipette. Only the very end of the pipette tip needs to be placed into the fluid. To draw the fluid up into the pipette, slowly release the button. Make sure that you keep the pipette tip in the fluid until the plunger has completely regained its original position. Draw the tip out of the fluid in the microcentrifuge tube. The micro pipette was set for 20 microliter, so the volume of fluid taken up into the pipette tip is 20 microliter. To expel the liquid from the pipette tip, place the pipette tip into the tube in which you want to expel the liquid. Then slowly push down on the button at the top of the plunger. As you push down on the plunger, the fluid in the tip will be pushed out into the tube. Remember that the plunger has two stops and that you push to the first stop when you are taking fluid up into the pipette tip. To remove the last bit of fluid from the pipette tip, push past this first stop to the second stop. This will expel any liquid remaining in the pipette tip. Hold down the button until the tip is no longer touching the fluid. Otherwise, you may aspirate the fluid back up into the tip. 